Now an Eyewitness News exclusive. It's been nearly three years since Chicago rapper and artist Juice World passed away from a drug overdose. Now his mother is honoring her late son with a new investment in the south suburb where he went to high school. I sat down and talked with Carmela Wallace about her son Jared, her work creating a community around mental health resources, and her new business venture in south suburban Homewood. It's an interview you'll only see here on ABC7. I can't think of a better way to, to pay honor to him, you know, seeing that we're building it in his honor. Everyone involved in the project, like I said, it's a work of love. He's still wildly popular in Chicago and beyond, three years after his passing. Today would have been Chicago rapper Juice World's 24th birthday. His birthday, and what a better way to, to start a new venture by breaking ground on a special day. So I think... I think he would love it. Now Jared Higgins' mother, Carmela Wallace, is posthumously honoring her son by giving back to the South Suburban Village of Homewood where he grew up and went to high school. That warm sense of community that you get here and the fact that Jared loved Homewood. And, and well after he became famous, he came back to Homewood until it just got to the point where too many people were coming to my house. But <laughs> <laughs> he, he always came back home, so it's, it's special. She's breaking ground on a new brewery and restaurant called Homewood Brewing Company. But the venture is about so much more than dinner and drinks. I do it for him. So it's, it's, uh, it's passion behind it. Wallace says she wants this to be a place to gather, to remember, to celebrate life. And her son, who years later, she says, still connects with people in times of crisis through his music, which is why she started her foundation, Live Free 999, in his honor. How do you think he would feel about this? Well, actually, it started from him. I'm carrying on his message because he always had a message for his fans. Something about his music, it, it touched them. It, it made people feel they weren't alone. She says in the past year, the foundation has started a crisis text line and is working to connect people to share their stories. You know, oftentimes you think I'm the only one going through this. So people are just being open and honest and they're sharing and they're reading just to build a community of people to know you're not alone. And continuing that conversation. Now, that brewery is set to open in 2024, but next week is the second annual mm -hmm. Juice World Day concert at the United Center. Thousands are set to gather to honor Higgins' life, and Carmela says she is looking to expand more boots on the ground mental yeah. health services mm -hmm. through her foundation, Live Free 999. So, so, just an incredible woman continuing that message of inclusion and, and mental health resources. Such important work, turning her pain into purpose. Absolutely. She has a master's degree in business, so she knows all about business. It's also going to be a space for creators yes. and jobs being created as well. Giving back to that yeah. community, right, that helped raise her son. Legacy lives on and continues. Yes, indeed. Thank you for the story. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.